Hi YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark again, that's for art. I'm going to read a little bit of our book, Poison Power. I apologize for not being back with you guys sooner. Uh, this is about as fast as I could get it. I'm going to make an effort not to go more than two or three days on the reading, otherwise it gets too long. Um, but anyways, let me get right to it. Poison Power by Dr. John W. Goffman and Arthur R. Tamplin. And we are on page 31. Still in the introduction, I'm sorry, I apologize for being a slow reader, The Nuclear Juggernaut. Um, new subtitle, Some Valuable Clues. If one is desirous of knowing about environmental hazards, there exists one unusually reliable source of unbiased information. This is the insurance industry. This highly successful industry has consistently operated profitably for one reason. They understand how to assess hazards. For the insurance industry to fail in their assessment of hazards means a loss of money. The insurance companies do not lose money. One has only to observe the actions of the insurance companies to realize that this industry, the nuclear industry, has essentially no, oh, I see, I apologize, that this industry has essentially no confidence in the safety of nuclear electricity generation. Let me reread that since I fucked the sentence up. One has only to observe the actions of the insurance companies to realize that this industry has essentially no confidence in the safety of nuclear electricity generation. The insurance people have watched carefully the burgeoning of nuclear electric power and they wasted no time taking serious steps to protect themselves. Little known to an unsuspecting public, the insurance industry inserted exclusion clauses into homeowners policies. If homes and properties suffer damage from radioactivity and nuclear plant accidents, most policies do not cover such damages. Many people have thought such exclusion clauses apply to nuclear war. Far from it. They are specifically planned to protect the insurance industry against the nuclear power industry. In this manner, the profit-minded insurance companies have looked at electric, nuclear electric power and have expressed themselves, quote, no confidence, unquote. And what about the bulk of the reliability for major damage? from nuclear power plant accidents. I must have read that wrong, not reliability. And what about the bulk of the liability for major damage from nuclear power plant accidents? Who carries this? No one. No one at all. The electric utility industry, of course, would never have even considered venturing into nuclear power if they could be held liable for the disastrous accidents considered possible. The insurance industry refused to insure such risks at any price. The Congress, with flagrant disregard for the public rights, public's rights, absolved everyone in virtually all significant liability by passing a law known as the Price-Anderson Act, which is why, folks, I'm becoming an attorney. That's my goal. That's my number one goal in life, to turn over the Price-Anderson Act and make people fucking accountable. Back to the book. A major accident it has been estimated could lead to $7 billion worth of damages. The Price-Anderson Act decrees that the maximum liability shall be $560 million. The public stands to recover a maximum of 70 cents on each dollar in such event, and that is grotesquely backwards now. We'll be in the red, folks. And the public says, 
and the public pays 80% of this inadequate pr protection. So check this out. We pay for that protection, 80%. If the electric utility corporations had to stand financially behind their sweet assurances of, quote, safe, unquote, nuclear power, the nuclear electricity industry would cease immediately. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put out a video with the names of the people on that are managing Northwest. Anyways, back to the book. What you must do. The nuclear juggernaut plans fully to roll on without assuming any of the moral or social responsibility it should take. Let me read that again. The nuclear juggernaut plans fully to roll on without assuming any of the moral and social responsibility it should take. So long as the public is lulled to sleep and doesn't know the right questions and the necessary actions, this madness can and will go unchecked. Ding, ding, ding. We are there. It is a major purpose of our book to provide the information concerning the supremely important questions. The nuclear electricity spokesmen have failed to answer. As informed public, an informed public can effectively protect itself. Such action is essential. Too many people feel the problems and the questions are highly technical. And because of this, they are easily fooled into believing they must rely on the, quote, experts, unquote. But any but a new day of awareness is dawning, and a large segment of the public is fully aware that it has been the, quote, experts, unquote, who have time and again misled us and brought us to the very sorry environmental plight we face today. Be your own expert. You can understand every aspect of the problems created by the nuclear juggernaut. We believe the ensuing chapters will provide you with the knowledge required for taking intelligent, effective action. You may find a particular point seems technical momentarily. We can assure you that you can pass such points by and go right on without any loss of understanding the real meat of the problem. We can, we can assure you that you can pass such points by and go right on without any loss of understanding the real meat of the problem. At a later time, you will find it easy to return to and to understand those few issues you went over rapidly. You must realize that if you do not have the information at your disposal and you do not know where that information is to be found, you will be a sitting duck for falsehoods and irre irrelevancies that will be thrown at you. Exactly like vaccines. Fuck. Honest information lies at the root of strength, root of strength for public action to protect the environment. Honest information lies at the root of strength for public action to protect the environment, your property, your health, and your life. You don't need to understand each little detail, provided you can get it when you do need it. That's why I save every article. New subtitle. We are optimistic. That's because they love life. We have no desire whatever to be the prophets of doom concerning the serious threat posed to you by the nuclear electricity industry. Not at all. We know that the public can and will take care of this mad stampede very effectively. An aroused and informed public is the key to self-defense against environmental rapists. Wow. An aroused and informed public is the key to defense against environmental rapists. So I'm going to use that phrase next year if there is a slut walk. Because I guarantee you Fukushima will not even be halfway even looked at still. Back to the book.
Therefore, after describing the nature of the poison generated by the nuclear electricity industry and the enormous price in public health and property this industry can cost the public, we turn to the really important issues to be treated here. First, you will learn that there are highly attractive alternatives available which make nuclear electric power generation unnecessary. You will realize there is no basis for concern that stopping the nuclear juggernaut means a shortage of electric power. We can have the electric power we need. We, have, we can have a high, high quality of life. And we can and must stop the destruction of our environment by the introduction of poisons that will last essentially forever. Let me read that again. We can and must stop the destruction of our environment by the introduction of poisons that will last essentially forever. People have underestimated their power and ability with respect to turning back polluters. Truth and information spread rapidly. There is nothing the Atomic Energy Commission, which is now the NRC, the Joint Committee on Atomic Energy, and the electric utility industry fear more than an informed public. An informed public can act and act with great effectiveness. And if stopping the nuclear juggernaut is accomplished through intelligent public action, the gain will spread. A successful attack upon this particular ill-conceived and rash stupidity of man will give the public confidence and the tools to solve other problems threatening our environment and our planet. We are quite optimistic that the public can teach the parochial, short-sighted nuclear triumvirate that the planet Earth has other functions than to serve as a sewer for the triumvirate's waste. And that is the end of the introduction and we are at chapter one nuclear reactors to generate electricity page 36 we're at 12 minutes i will stop there thank you everybody for watching this and i will come back as shortly as i possibly can put your courage feet on and please take some action <laughs> get those names of the people that are the owners of the nuclear power plants near you. Find out who those people are. So talk to you guys soon. Put your courage feet on. Ciao.